guys, today I'm filming the second update in my year-long project pan. And I am excited because I have a decent amount of empties to share with you, but not the best progress on some of the other items. Some of these things I just haven't felt like using and other things I just haven't gotten to yet. But some of these things I actually was impressed with the progress and this update is kind of inspiring me or kicking me in the butt to get back to using some of these things. So let's just start with my 10 empties from my year long project that I finished in the past two months. And I told you guys that I am wanting to work through all of my mini primers and I finished three more, the VDL Luma Layer Primer and two of the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer Hydrogen Primers. Each of these have five mils in them. I actually really love the both of these. The VDL is a beautiful glowy primer. It has an opalescent sheen to it, but the texture is fantastic because it isn't greasy, so it works really well for my oily skin. It is something that I would consider purchasing in the future if I could get it for a good price. And then for the primerizer from Smashbox, I absolutely love this because it is a very interesting consistency. It has a little tack to it to help your foundation stick, but it's super smooth and very hydrating as well. This I think would be amazing for dry, normal skin. For me, it's something I can only use in wintertime. I will repurchase in the future. I'd probably get a mini so I could get through it in a year, but I do have a full size tart base tape, which is the same concept. So I will need to use that one first, but this is phenomenal and I really recommend it. And I will definitely use up any more minis if I get them. And all of these minis I actually acquired this year and they were not in my intro, but I didn't want to have them sitting around until next year. So I just went ahead and finished them up while I was still in the right season or my skin wasn't at its oiliest. Then I do have two sprays that I finished. The first being the Derma E Hydrating Mist. I was using this as a primer spray. I've been working on it since the beginning of the year. So it did take me a while to get through, but totally fine with that. This didn't really do anything for me, would not repurchase. And then I did also use up my travel size of Urban Decay All Nighter. This is my favorite setting spray. I will definitely repurchase this in the future. I have several different versions of this. I've got the D Slick. I have, as you'll see, the summer solstice of the all-nighter. I have the all-nighter matte, but I would totally buy the original as well. They usually come in two-pack value sets around the holiday time. And if you can use an Ulta 20% off coupon on top of it, then that would be a really good deal. So we'll see. I have so many little mini samples that I can never pass up, but this is really good. It was just getting older in my collection, so I'm happy I was able to use that up. Next, surprisingly, and I'll have some pictures on the screen, I used up some of my primer setting shades and I added these in really just to track the progress because I thought it'd be interesting. So first I used up the eyeshadow that I use to set the primer in my crease, which I want to be a little bit more skin tone. And it actually was this little sample powder from MAC, the Studio Fix powder in NC20 which is a little dark for my skin tone, but it worked really well. So it is like the same size as an eyeshadow from MAC, I believe. It has 0 0.05 ounces, so it took me a while to get through. This was really nice. I do think this would make a lovely powder foundation, but I think the L'Oreal Infallible powder is even better and much cheaper. So I wouldn't repurchase this, but I was very happy to use it up and it worked so well as my primer. And I don't necessarily think that all powders work well for that, but it did give me some coverage to help really like cancel out veining. So it did work well in that way, whereas other powders might not have worked as well because they weren't as pigmented, but very nice. And I did just have it pressed into this little silver pan. So this is all used up. You can see where I was last time. So that's very exciting. And then I did use up my Wet n Wild Brulee, which I used to clean up under my eyes and to help wing out my shadow. This was the old packaging, old formula, which I really, really love. And I just repurchased this from Amazon and it is so powdery. It's a little bit annoying. So I have to be careful when I use it. So I'm definitely bummed that the formula is different. This used to be really incredible, but it's still very good. It's a really good shade for me to use in that way. It's almost like a makeup eraser because it matches my skin tone so well, but I've had this for a while. So I am happy that I used that up. 
And then I did finish my Lorac Take a Brow kit in the shade blonde. I finished up the darker color. You can see where I was last time I had hit pan, but then I actually repressed it into a larger pan to make it easier to use because I was using this with a small dense contour brush to use to fill in my hairline. I have lost some hair since having Landon and it's just a little light around the hairline and I was able to use it up that way. I am going to hang on to this and use up the lighter shade later in the year, maybe when I dye my hair lighter again, but I am super happy that I used up the darker shade. And then lastly, I have two lip products. This first one I can't even be that excited about, the Dose of Colors Lip Liner in Delight. I love this color, but this formula was not good. It was super sticky, so it broke. I'm only going to give myself half the value of this at the end of the year because I only used up about half of it and the other half broke. And I told you guys like don't get Dose of Colors lip liners, but I have a newer one that I used recently and that one is much creamier. So maybe this was an older formula or just old. I don't think it was that old, but you know, I, I'm super bummed because this is a gorgeous color and I would love to have this exact shade in the ColourPop formula, but it's out of my life. And then I'm really proud of this one though. I did use up the Pixi Lip Lift Max in Sweet Nectar. And there's a little tiny bit at the bottom, but I can't get it out. I love this. I love that flat paddle applicator. It's my favorite for gloss because it is just so cushiony. This is a super nice formula. This gives like a light medium opacity. It's very smooth on the lips. It is plumping in the way where it's like a little minty, but it's not super cooling, definitely not stingy. I would consider purchasing this or the Sheer Rose shade in the future. You guys know last update I had used up the Peony color, which was really pigmented, but the other ones I've tried have not been. But a really nice formula. So happy I did not declutter this or the other Pixi Gloss and that I chose to use them up. So I'm feeling super happy about my lip product progress so far this year. And those are all the things from my year long project that I used up. I will show you the other empties from March and April in a minute. But let me show you the progress on the things that I have left. So for my mini primers, I just have three more. This first one is the Rare Beauty Always an Optimist Illuminating Primer, which is in my current Drop 10 by Summer project, which has a month left or like half a month left for me. And as you might be able to see, I'm almost done. So this will be done by that update, which is super exciting. And then I will start working on these for my summer project, which would be the Rare Beauty Always an Optimist Pore Diffusing Primer. And I have already used some of this. So I probably have two thirds left. And then I also have the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better Primer. I haven't tried this one yet and all of these are five mils so I feel confident that I will finish all of these probably just this one by my next update but maybe this one too we'll see but this one will still be hanging around but I'm totally fine with that for foundation I told you guys last month I wasn't sure if I wanted to pan these or not, and I'm still in the same place. I've been testing out so many other foundations and I haven't felt like wearing these. I did yesterday wear the Tarte Face Tape Foundation in 12S Fair Sand. It's a really good shade match for me. It almost felt like too heavy, like too much, but it looked okay. So I'm not sure about this one. And then today I wore the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte in 100 True Alabaster and I held it upside down and squeezed out the air and I am down here to the B, but I don't want to get excited about that because I do still think there's a ton in here and I like the way that it looks today, but I'm not sure. So I'm still going to think about these and it might just be that I message some of my friends and see if they want them. And if they say yes, then I'll declutter them. If not, then I'll probably try to use them up. So I'm still undecided, but I do want to really use them more to make up my mind. And then shamefully, I've only used this once so far this year because I've been panning other concealers in projects. And this is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade 12N Fair Neutral. So 12S Fair Sand for foundation, 12N Fair Neutral for concealer. But I do really want to use this more to see if I still love this as much as I used to. I hope so, kind of, because I have a backup of this. 
which is one of the reasons that backups are not good. But it used to be that you can never get shape tape on sale. And now it, it happens a little bit more often. Then we've got my powders. So this first one I'm going to take out of the project. It is the Illamasqua powder blush and intrigue. It's just a matte white. I am going to really just use this when I need to and repress it into an eyeshadow pan to use to highlight under my brow. That's what I will be doing. But for cleaning up my skin, actually recently my foundations have been looking a little bit light. So I haven't needed this to clean up because it also then looks too intense. So I'm just going to take it out of the project for now, at least who knows, maybe I'll add it in later. Then I had two powder foundations. This first one I've been working on in my summer project is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour fresh wear powder foundation in tin porcelain. And you can see there's not a ton left. I have repressed it. And I'm hoping that this will be done by my next update. I've been wearing this every single time I go into the office and we are about to increase the amount of days from two to three times a week. So I feel pretty good about finishing this. And then I think in my summer project, I will add in my other powder, the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin, also in tin porcelain. And this will become my new work foundation because I do still have to wear a mask at work. But I do feel like I need to bring it with me because it'd be like rubbing off. And then when I'm doing my video meetings with no mask on, it looks a little funny. For bronzers, I had stopped using these because I was testing out some other things, but I do want to go back to these. And the first one being the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Sheer Sun Serum Bronzer. I only used it once, which was today. And I actually really liked it and thought it was pretty, which is good. So I want to get some use out of this. I do not think this is going to be finished by the end of the year, but I'm not going to take it out of the project. This won't be done either, but I'll leave it in still. This is the Persona Bronzer Stick in Dune. And I did wear this some, and I'll have the picture on the screen, but there is a small progress line from the past two months, which is great. Again, I was testing out several other cream bronzers, but this is a good one I do want to start using this more these are both a little bit more warm which i think works well for me with summertime makeup so i will get back to those don't you worry then i have my facial sprays that i still have so this one is what i'm going to start using as my primer spray it is my one out size of mac fix plus you can tell that i've already started working on this and i rolled it into my spring project it will be going into my summer project as well absolutely love this and then I've also been using, since I used up uh, Travel Size All Nighter, I've been using the Summer Solstice. This is a four ounce bottle. It weighs too much for my scale. I can't see through it, but I have been using this, but I do not go overboard with setting spray, but I'm really enjoying it. And the scent is not too strong. Luckily, it just smells like a little beachy. Then for brows, I have my long haul product, which is, oops, the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil. This one is in the shade number two. I do like this, but really not as much as I used to. I feel like once I use up this and my one backup, which what, is that gonna take me two more years? Then I'm fine just using a micro pencil, but I don't mind using them both. I just use the micro pencil to draw on the front detail, outline my brows and fill in the center with this. And I have made some visible progress, again, a little bit less than last time. I'm not really sure why, but I have been using it. So since I did use up the darker shade in my initial Lorac Take a Brow kit, I told you guys that the one from last year, I used up a lighter shade, but not the darker one, but I still had it. And I, because my hair is a little bit darker, I did decide to repress that one into a larger pan and now i'm going to start using this so this is the one that i will start updating you guys on for now and then like i said i will go back to this to use up the lightest shade so i actually decided to repress this into a little like blush size pan and then i put it in this makeup geek small empty magnetic quad and it works so well i'm so happy that i have this because the next smallest magnetic palette I have is the small Z palette, which is still kind of big. So this just works perfectly. So here's what this looks like. Ton of product in here. This is going to take me a while. 
it's also very pigmented so i'll be working on this for all which i'm totally fine with i think it would just be interesting to see the progress then i've got my shadow sticks and this first one i haven't used it all since the last update this is something that i plan on rolling back in in the fall and this is the Laura Mercier Caviar Stick in Metallic Taupe. I absolutely love this. I already have a full size of this, which is why I went to use up my mini. And then I have a full size in the shade Sunrise, which I told you guys I don't like this one because it picks up on itself and it is not metallic. I don't know if I got a dud or this is just how this shade is, but I don't love it. I was looking at this like, wow, that's so much left. But when I look at my progress lines, I actually used up a ton of it, which makes me feel really excited. Again, still a ton left. So I'll be using this all summer long. And I don't know that I can finish the both of these, but I promise you I'm gonna try my very, very best. I really want this one used up, especially. I think, you know, if, if this one ends up needing to go into my winter project next year, I think I'd be okay with that. I think the color would work well. It reminds me of Maybelline Bad to the Bronze because it's a little bit more of like a cool tone bronze. So if I have to prioritize one, it will be this just because I don't like it and want to get it out. But I am really happy with the progress I'm making. I'm definitely doing the best I can. I'm using that as my base most days. It kind of just depends on the look. I have pulled in some other bases here and there, but I've been really good about being consistent with that one. And then I believe all we have left would be lip products. And I have been slacking on this one majorly, my lip scrub. This is the Lemongrass Spa Peppermint Stick Lip Polish. And I do have a little bit of a dent in there, or at least some little fingernail size chunks missing. And I just have not been consistent with using this, even though it's in my shower. So I do need to pick it up because this will take me the rest of the year to finish. I did use up one last year. Then I have one of my lip balms that I'm working on, the Buxom Powerful Plump in the shade Big O, which is one of those pH ones. So I have to be careful when I apply this and when it's on that I don't like rub my lips too much or it will be like everywhere. It gets very, very bright. So this is how much I am working with. So I did make some good progress, not as much as last time, but still, a good bit I have been using other lip balms as well especially to bed this is not something I'm gonna put on because I don't want pink everywhere I really like this formula I just don't like the color changing aspect next I use this like two times no visible progress this is the MAC prep and prime lip primer I know I told you guys that I feel like using this up as a lip balm is cheating but I might do it. I might do it or at least for a little bit to get in the habit of using it. We'll see. I'm not there yet, but uh, it's close. So then we've got my lip glosses. And again, I'm feeling really proud of the progress that I've made. I am very much hoping this will be done by my next update. We will see. This is the Buxom Full On Plumping Lip Cream in the shade Pink Champagne. Just a little mini, I'm all the way down here so not very much of this left but I cannot wear this on its own it looks awful on me it is too milky and this is in my current drop 10 before summer project with a lip oil that stains hot pink so the combo works pretty well together so I feel pretty confident that I will have that one used up and then I'll have three other glosses left I do want to prioritize this one for summer I came in the same collection little trio with that other buxom gloss and this is another lip cream in the shade mudslide so you can see I'm starting right here so I I really want to get through that I love that color though and then I do really want to use up my ColourPop ultra glossy lips so I will be using this one, no, this one in summer as well. And this is feedback. So we're starting right here, a lot of products left. And then for fall, Champagne Mommy, which has less in it. So I don't really know. I'm gonna get through the both of these, but I'll try it. I mean, if I had to use this one in fall, maybe. We'll see how it goes. So the ColourPop has three grams or 0.11 ounces and the buxom have 0 0.07 but it's a different formula the buxoms are so sticky that i can't reapply it like crazy 
we'll see. I'm still feeling really nervous about finishing these, but I, I wanna be motivated and hopeful because I have done so well so far this year. And then I did finish five other makeup products in March and April, but before I get into them, I did just remember something that I forgot to share with you last update. And that was something for my winter project pan. I did use up a little deluxe sample of the ColourPop Pretty Fresh foundation, and it must have gone to my trash after I used it up. And I do think that that is a fine foundation. I think it gives nice, like medium coverage, has like a natural finish. So I can see why this would work really well for a lot of skin types. Because the color was so light on me, it was hard for me to really be fair about how much I could possibly like it. It was fine, not something I would repurchase, but I'm happy I used that up. Guys, try to remind me at the end of the year to include that with my empties. I'm so sad I threw it out on accident. It must have just got knocked into the trash can. So then for my other five empties, this first one, I am going to talk about here, even though it's a skincare product, because I did have this in, you know, my makeup project pan and because I haven't put this with my monthly sample empties because I've been afraid that I was going to throw it away. I don't save those, but this is the Super Goop Glow Screen SPF 40. This was a 0.34 fluid ounce size. I love this. I will totally repurchase in the future. Gave a beautiful glow. It worked so well under makeup. Didn't make me extra greasy. Love, love, love. And then I used up another Dermablend Translucent Loose Setting Powder. You guys know this is my favorite. It works so well. So many of my other powders need to be mixed. They're a little bit more fussy, even though I love the final result, but this one just works. Under my eyes to set my face. So I have already opened up my backup and whenever this is included in the next Ulta sale, I will buy two more. And then I finally used this up. I usually go through one a year. It's the NYX Eyebrow Shaper Wax Pencil. This is my first step in my brows. I do notice a difference when I forget it. I think that this just helps my pencils kind of stick to my skin better, to my hair. So I just opened up a new one that should last me another year. I am contemplating buying one more backup of this because it's been discontinued for a couple years now. Some other brands make it, but I think all the other drugstore brands that made it got rid of theirs too. So I don't know. I really love it. I feel like it makes a difference, but as a first step, not a last step, not as a replacement for, you know, an actual brow gel. And then I did use up two mascaras. I have several that have been open at the same time. So there will be some next time. And actually at the end of this month, one more. I'm going to be calling done, but I'm not there yet. It will be in my next update. So this first one, I don't like it at all. This is the Grande Cosmetics Grande Mascara. This literally does nothing for my lashes. No length, no volume, just makes them a little bit black. Absolutely not. Then this is one I love and I actually will repurchase in the future. I think that this is sometimes included at Ulta like Christmas time and like a $10 mascara sale. If it is, I will buy it. Then this is a Smashbox Super Fan. It is a wet formula, a plastic wand, and this gives such great length and separation. I love pairing this with more of a volumizing mascara. I've been using this with the Rare Beauty Mascara. That is my current favorite combo. Love, love, love. One of the only things I actually like from Smashbox besides the primerizer, which were two things that I did mention in a video that would be my favorite products. And I did actually mention the both of those in a video called Bomb Products from Boring Brands. If I remember, I will link that in case you guys are curious. I thought it was a fun little video, but those are the things that I've used up in the past two months and the things I'm gonna be working on. I would love to hear your thoughts on the products that I've chosen. I might end up taking more of these out, but I'm hoping that again, this kick myself in the butt to start using them more. I definitely feel that way about the bronzers. I'm not so sure about the foundation or the concealer, uh, but everything else feeling pretty good about usage wise. So guys, I would love to hear what projects you're doing right now. Like I said, I've got a little bit more time left in my drop 10 before summer, even though I know everybody already posted their finale. Then I'll be starting my summer project before the next update for this, because I update this every other month. And then I'm also doing my rolling sample project pan where I work on hair, skin and body products. So I would love you guys would check out those other projects. Let me know if you're doing projects as well. I would love to follow along. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys.